Microsoft Word has a fantastic time-saving feature in it called Quick Parts. Quick Parts allows you to create, store, and reuse content. If you find yourself typing in the same information repeatedly, Quick Parts is going to save that time by allowing you to capture that information and then be able to reuse it or insert it into a document with a single click. The Quick Parts feature is located on the Insert ribbon by clicking the button labeled Quick Parts. There are a lot of components to Quick Parts, but the one I'm going to focus on in this video is the reusing of your own personal content. To demonstrate, suppose that every time you create a document for work, you have to put a standard work disclaimer at the bottom of that information. A typical strategy is to keep the data that you need to reuse stored in a separate Word document. Then when you need it, you can highlight that information, copy it, switch to the new document, and paste that information down. Although there's nothing wrong with this, that file has to then be stored somewhere and be protected. You want to make sure somebody doesn't accidentally delete that file. Although that's not difficult, you also have the added complexity of having to open two files and juggle content between the two. With Quick Parts, what we're able to do is to take the content, select it, then go up to Insert, Quick Parts, and then choose Save Selection to Quick Part Gallery. There are several types of galleries within Microsoft Word. You can see them listed here in the gallery dropdown. And although you can save this in any of the galleries you choose, it's best to go ahead and leave this set to the Quick Parts Gallery. We'll give the Quick Part a name, like BCTI Disclaimer. And if you wish, you can add a description. Then we'll click OK. Now when we're in a new document and we need to add that disclaimer to the document, we could just go up to Quick Parts and see our BCTI disclaimer in the Quick Parts library. With one click, we've inserted the disclaimer at the end of the document. Another example, suppose that we have to create the same basic response message in various form letters. I've created the essence of the letter. We can now highlight this and then go up to Quick Parts and choose Save Selection to the Quick Parts Gallery. I'll call this particular Quick Part Standard Response. I'll click OK. If we were to start a brand new blank document, now if I want to use that standard response, I can just go up to Insert, Quick Parts, and choose the standard response Quick Part. Now all I have to do is change the particulars for this document. If it turns out that you need to update the Quick Part, either you notice the spelling error in the original capture, or you just need to modify it for some other purpose, we can modify the content, then re-highlight, go back to Quick Parts, and then when you choose Save Selection to Quick Part Gallery, make sure you give it the same name as the existing Quick Part. When you click OK, this will ask you if you wish to replace the existing Quick Part with the revised Quick Part. Now in a new document, if I go back up to Quick Parts and choose my standard response, I now have the Quick Part with the changes. If you have an existing Quick Part that you no longer need, and you don't need it showing up cluttering the list, we can right-click on the Quick Part and choose Organize and Delete. This takes us to the Building Block Organizer. Here we're able to see all the Quick Parts that we've added to the Quick Part Gallery. If you just need to change the name of a Quick Part, you can choose that Quick Part and choose Edit Properties. This will allow you to update your description, change the name, or maybe move this Quick Part to a different gallery. There are also some configurable options here. The default is to insert the Quick Part wherever your cursor is located. You can change this to insert the content into its own paragraph or to insert the content onto a brand new page. If you no longer need a quick part, select it from the building block list and click delete. Click close to close the building block organizer. An important thing to be mindful of when working with quick parts is if you add, delete, or modify a quick part, you're actually modifying a file that's located on your system called building blocks. This is where all the quick parts are stored. Well, like any other file, when you close Word, you need to make sure you save your changes if you want to commit those quick parts. In this quick parts gallery, you can see I've got my BCTI disclaimer, but this actually hasn't been fully committed because I've not exited Word and saved these changes to the building blocks file. If I close Word, you can see I get a message that says there have been changes made to the buildingblocks.dotx file. One of the saving graces about this is if you accidentally delete a building block that you didn't mean to, you can just close Word without saving, reopen, and you'd have your building block back. In this case, I'm going to hit save. The next day, I reopen Word, I start a blank document, I can go up to Insert, Quick Parts, and my disclaimer is here. 
Another interesting use for the quick parts is instead of clicking the quick part and just plugging it in wherever your cursor is located, you do have the option by right clicking on the quick part and being able to choose from a variety of different locations at which the quick part should be inserted. So regardless of where your cursor is, you could insert the quick part in the page's header, the page's footer. If you're using sections, you could plug it in at the beginning of the current section or the end of the current section without having to navigate to that location and select it specifically. You could also insert it at the very beginning of the document or the end of the document, again, regardless of the current cursor location. The right click also gives you access to the properties of the quick part if you need to make a change to say the name or the description or the options. Now you can't delete a quick part directly from the right click, but you can use this right click to get to the organizer. And then from here, you could select the appropriate quick part and delete it. Just don't forget to save your changes when you close Word. So that's the Word Quick Parts feature. It's a great way to save time to not have to repeatedly create the same repetitive content. Thanks for watching, and remember, at BCTI, the learning never stops.